Quentin Maston Davies. Um, I'm 20 years old and I go to Michigan State University. Hi, I'm Alec Frazier. I'm 26 years old and I go to the State University of New York University at Buffalo. Hello, my name is Kit Albrecht. I am 21 years old and I go to school at the University of California at San Diego. I'm Ian Bott and I'm 29 years old. And we're talking about the Autism Campus Initiative right now. We think that the more leadership there is in the disability community, the better off we are as disabled people. is you're potentially going to have more resources and opportunities to do that work than other student groups are. Um, a little bit of 101 on uh, having relationships with the media. So we're going to do a couple of things today. We're going to talk about um, the ways that you might use new media tools in organizing. And also think about, you know, does this have to be a university-based chapter? Because there are likely a lot of people who are not attending your college who would love to be a part of this type of group. So thinking strategically, how do we involve those people? Um, we're going to talk about theory of change and how online organizing fits into an overall campaign strategy. Um, don't wing it. What I mean by that is just don't fly by the seat of your pants, don't, don't make stuff up. And then we're going to talk about best practices for some of those specific tools. So The best thing to do is if you know an interview is coming up, if you know that you're working on an issue, if you know you have a report coming out, um, is to prepare. How, ma how many of you have been in a meeting where you wanted to say something and you didn't say it? And what I would recommend is that you take each of the points of strategy that we talked about earlier and decide what order you're going to cover them in and how much time you're going to spend on each one. But they're all all of these tools are important. If we want to change the world, we're going to use all these tools to, to as much effect as we can. So Notice that a lot of innovations in the disability rights movement start in one part and then move more broadly outside of it. Listening to Jim was great because a lot of the stuff that I was hearing about the development of ANI was very similar to our experience with ADAPT. So this is kind of the, the, the steps, right, of, of building your organization that, you know, for folks that are building a new chapter, when you get home, think about what are the one-on-ones you need to do. Said, if I were in your, your position, I would be doing the same exact thing. So, okay, all right, so we got this. We do the one-on-ones, we proposition, and then the third piece of building, our, of building our, our membership is identifying leaders. Why did you want to come to ACI? I wanted to come to a ACI because I want to, to build autistic community. This is really my first foray into uh, disability rights. Um, and, uh, wanted to learn a leadership leadership and community organizing skills. How are you liking um, ACI so far? 
Um, I'm liking it a lot. I'm learning a lot of information. I ACI so far is just divine. It's it's wonderful. I've learned such wonderful things. I've practiced such wonderful techniques. And tomorrow in Washington is going to be one of the best days of my life. I can guarantee it. ACI has definitely been a worthwhile experience for me. I feel like I've learned a lot and very informative um, lectures and where I've learned more about the organizational structure of um, building a group, a community group. ACI has definitely been worthwhile. It's been something where it's amazed me how fluid interaction is for me in many ways here, how effective I'm finding that I'm capable of being, and I don't think that I would have that without the experience here. Um, very interesting workshops facilitate a meeting and organize protests and uh... I've learned how to plan an event I've learned how to uh, uh, actually follow a whole campaign the entire way through I've learned uh, I've learned the history of institutionalization I've learned public policy and where to go from here and I'm sure I've learned many other things, but the most important thing is that I've made some wonderful friends whom I hope to keep for years from now. Would you like to see HCI continue in future years? Yes, because I think it has a lot of has has a lot going for it that could benefit other other autistic college students. I would recommend ACI to others. ACI has been a really great experience for me.